So here's something you may not know about me. I almost flunked woodshop. Yep, back in junior high, what they call middle school these days. I was excited when I first walked into woodshop. Instead of a desk, everyone got to sit at a little workbench. Cool. And then you got to play with real tools, saws, hammers, screwdrivers, and manly things like that. I was going to have a great time until... I got the practice piece. The practice piece was a rectangular block of wood, about six inches long, three inches wide, and an inch thick. Everyone in the class had to complete an initial exercise with their practice piece before they could actually begin working on a real project. For me, things went downhill from there. Everyone got their block of wood and set of instructions. You had to plane and sand the block to very, very, very specific measurements. Then you had to put a bevel edge all around the top. When you completed the task, the teacher checked your finished product with a micrometer so he could see if your measurements were correct all the way around on every edge down to the millimeter. Well... This is the time I first began learning certain things about myself that my mother and father never told me. They weren't even mentioned in the operating manual they gave me when I was born. It seems I lacked certain mechanical skills. Odd. My father was an engineer, a draftsman, who drew up blueprints in very, very, very specific detail. Wouldn't you think I would have inherited some of that skill? Anyway, I got to work on my practice piece, and the first thing I noticed was how difficult it was to achieve the proper measurements consistently all around the block of wood. I'd get one side right, then I'd screw up the other. To make a long story short, I went through at least a dozen or more practice pieces trying to get it right. I never did. Week after week, I'd plane and sand, sand and plane, take a little off here, then, oops, too much off there. Meanwhile, all the other kids were busy working away at building birdhouses and bookcases and cool things like that. I kept planing and sanding, sanding and planing. The teacher finally passed one of my pieces with a D, which was probably for dimwitted. But as far as I was concerned, there was no doubt about it. The entire episode was child abuse, right out of the child abuse manual that my parents didn't give me at birth. I told you this story because it kind of explains how the kitchen got flooded last night. I was attempting to remove the broken ice maker from the refrigerator and install a new one. Boy, you should have seen all the water. It was like a fire hose had opened a full blast. Water was everywhere before we finally got to turn off the main water valve outside. Then it took forever to sop it up. Fortunately, I had a wet vac. That sure helped. For sure, it was an experience I will never forget, just like my practice piece in Woodshop. I don't need to bore you with all the details of the Great Flood and how it happened, but it proved once more that by the time you reach my age, one should accept what one is capable of doing and not. Enough said. I'm Mark Kuhn. Thanks for listening.